YouTube, what's the word? You guys have been loving the videos. I've gotten tons of good feedback on the videos that they've helped you get good at Madden. They've helped you see the game better. And that's really my goal for y'all to watch me play and try to talk you through some of the things that are going through my mind. So this is a great gameplay. This is actually Weekend League, and it's actually against Joel. At this point in Weekend League, I believe I'm probably 16-0. and 0, And, you know, I'm getting ready to actually go to Jacksonville for the first tournament of the year. So this is a good chance to go ahead and play against a little tight flex. Play against Joel, who is one of the better players in the world. Obviously, y'all know him from streaming. Hopefully, y'all follow him and keep up what he does. And this is a good example of how streaming can hurt somebody. You know, we've all watched Joel play. We've watched Problem play. we watched me play. I know exactly kind of what he wants to do the whole time. And on top of that, I've probably played him three or four times already early in the year. I know he wants to run tight flex. I know that, you know, it's hard to block stuff out of that. So, I'm going to come into this game sending the crib at him. And, you know, he likes to run. If we can control the run and control Vic, we'll be all right. First two plays would do pretty good against the run. So he needs to pass here, and we're going to send the dogs at him. Throws him flat, holds Y, and comes back to it so it doesn't go pick. Cam Chance on a hard flat. So fourth down, I bluff the blitz and come out here with just a cover three. Michael Vick just runs away from Clown. He playmakers somebody up and just gets a, just a broken play. I mean, Joel, if you know anything, he's a broken play specialist, meaning that he's really good at broken plays. He'll make some plays with his quarterback and his user and playmaker. There we go, Pat Pete making some plays on the run. Until we stop the run, we're good. There we go, stringing the run out. Chan Billy, got to get those strip animations. So we've been sending the crib at him all day. This time we drop off the right side, and my guy, A.J. Bouye with the pick. Can't make nothing happen because for, for some reason he has 83 speed in this game, but it's all right, we'll fight. Get the ball. I, Joel is a really good defensive player, so I'm going to start off with a little run there. There we go, over the middle, high ball to Moss, catches it on Amos. That's why we put Moss in the slot. That's why I didn't make a play. There we go. Same thing he did. I threw, but held wide. Come back to get it, so it wasn't a pick. Get to a nice second and ten. Throw underneath here to McCoy. Try to make something happen. McCoy gets tackled. Get up a third and five. Once again, underneath the McCoy, but this time McCoy can't pain LeSean. McCoy fights for me. Gets the first down. And I'm trying to hold my water and throw that post, but Joey Bosa beats Lane Johnson around the edge. I stepped up pretty well there. In this play, I step up and take off with Michael Vick. I need to get some points here. Joel starts using his timeouts to try to conserve the first half. But we go third and five. We would hit McCoy in the flat. Bang, pick up that first down. That's what it's about. He's using more timeouts, trying to conserve time. Bosa again kills the draw there. He uses his last timeout. So now I, I hope I take the whole half with me. V to Vi to V to Vi. I swear he's the best D tackle in the game so far. Once again, Vita Vida Vida, whatever his name is. Put in the comments how to say his name because he's been killing me all year. Says, oh, so I take my three. I got to stop. I feel good about my stop. feel good about playing against this tight flex. I'm going to send the smoke at him, and he's going to have to make a read right away. Either dot me, throw a pick, or get sacked. And, and you know, the first drive, it paid off. Got that pick. That's all I need, I think, with the way I'm playing offense right now. Stop the run. There you go, Sean Taylor filling the gap. With Telvin Smith, block shot, and here we go again. We send the gas. Telvin Smith put him in the dirt. Third and long. This is a big play. He screamed that pressure on his face, overthrows that out route. That makes it fourth and 18. He has to punt. He might have went for it if it got to a fourth and five, but the fourth and 18, he punts. So hopefully we go down here and get some more points. We get the ball at half. So any points here help, but we feel good anyway. Hit McCoy in the flat. Again, McCoy in the flat, McCoy in the flat. you got to make people play hard flat so you can get some bigger plays. If not, you can't force stuff that's not there. This time, Lane Johnson holds Bosa. We get the big post play in the field goal range. Get out of bounds. We're feeling great. And we will try to hit a forward. We'll try to give Moss a chance one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, I don't know who that is. Is safety. Is it Sean Taylor? Knocks the ball away. There goes. He runs with his user to cover it this time. Dump it down to Tyreek Hill. We got one timeout. It's 19 seconds left. Once again, who are we going to throw to in the flats? With Sean Shady McCoy. Stay in bounds. Try to get an end zone. Knocked out of bounds. Save my timeout. So my philosophy here is we got three plays before we kick our field goal. I could run a toss. If it's not there, run out of bounds to secure the clock. Or I also have my timeout. So what I'm thinking here is if it's not there, I'm going to run a toss, run out of bounds. Even if I get to the 10, even if I lose 10 yards on the toss, it'll give me a chance to throw the ball in the end zone. But right here, it just looks sweet. Let's be real. Chat, come on, YouTube, it looks sweet. I'm going to get in there. We see Gurley. He trips over with Sean Taylor. I get a touchdown. Making it a two-score game at halftime, that's enormous. Also getting the ball at half, I feel like this game is over. The way I'm playing defense, just don't give up any kick returns, any fluky plays, and we'll be all right. 
Here we go. That's what we got to do. Cover kicks. Rodney McLeod, one of those underrated safeties in the league. I have him as a backup. Makes a play there. One play, we just play cover two, put a deep, or two men on there, put a deep blue in the middle. He's just going to scramble with Vic. Just don't even click on anybody. Let him spin away. Vic is not going to spin 15 people, but he spun one. So we get the ball in half. Pretty much my philosophy here is if we score a touch, if we score a touchdown, the game's over, or if we take the whole third quarter, the game's over. That's one thing or the other. Ideally, both would be, I mean, just he would quit at that point. And so we're going to start out here and run a little clock. Use Gurley. Nice little stick work. Cut back up the middle. Get another 15. We're getting close to field goal range already, boys. Here we go again. Once I got him playing the run, bringing his safety down a little bit, we're able to hit Moss over the top. This drive is looking really easy right now. So let's go ahead and use Gurley again right up the middle. Bang. Get inside the one. And what we're going to do again, we're going to go to the I form. Get a ball to Shady McCoy. He gets hit stick, but we get another first down. So choose some more clock. And this time McCoy just walks in. 17 nothing. This is just, I mean, this is the ultimate game over situation. Now, when you're kicking the ball off, all I want to do is get to the fourth quarter with him with no points. I don't care if he gets five yards of pop, 10 yards of pop running the ball. I just want to get to the fourth quarter. Any run play is fine for me because, like I said, I just want to get to the fourth. Here we go. I'm a little behind, but I use that RB button. Get you good at using that RB button. Strip the ball out of your opponent. Here we go. Hits Moss underneath or went on a wide route and tight flex. Give him a little more time here, like I said. But, oh, give him a little more time, and then we bring the gas. Just when he gets comfortable, you got to bring the gas. Joel will also audible to this four wide receiver set. And watching him play and playing against him, all he does out of that is run the ball or run four verticals. So every time he does that, I just audible the cover three. I actually put cover four in my audibles just for this game. I never have cover four in my audibles, but that's what I do when he goes there. Just audible to cover four, try to stop the run. And right here, he's running the ball. That's fine with me. Like I said, we got to the fourth quarter already. I feel like the game is over. Because three scores in the fourth quarter, like I said, look, he audibled out. All he's going to do out of this is run. He's taking all day. We audibled right to cover four. We're going to try to blow up this inside zone, at least block shed. And he's just taking all day at the, at the line of scrimmage. Great opportunity just to waste some clock. We fight against the guard. Even if he gets yards, he should fight to get out of bounds there. But, you know, he's just juking in the middle. That's fine. I'm not stressing any of that. He was a tight flex. Come off underneath Jalen Ramsey, jumps it, drops the ball right there. I don't know who that receiver is. Might be John Ross. Here we go. In a cover two, Malcolm Jenkins goes and gets that. Should have been a book. Crazy that he played that game dead. The next play is able to hit this drag underneath. Jalen Ramsey. Give me that little kid. Boom. Fumbles the ball. Game was over before that. Definitely over now. So he's going to go ahead and back out of this game. Played really good defense that game. Started off in a shaky. He's a great defensive player, but you know we were able to go ahead and put some drives together, get a couple big plays, utilizing Gurley, LaShawn McCoy, and Randy Moss. So it's pretty much my playmakers. They get it going. So like I said, please hit the like. Y'all been giving me really good feedback on a lot of these videos, so hit the like button. Get this to 200 likes, and I will post the next one. I have like 10 of these lined up already. But make sure you hit that. If you like any of the offense or the defense that you've seen in this video, the links are below to go to manturf.com. Check out my offensive ebook and my defensive ebook are up there right now. Thank y'all.